Press 1 if you need to implement a new topic. Press 2 if you're a beginner. Press 3. Listen carefully. If you're a language educator, press if you're an English educator. Welcome to Teaching Support Line. Brian is speaking. Who is there? Hello, Brian. I'm Gabriela. Hello, Gabriela. Tell me, how can I assist you today? Sure. Um, in this moment, I'm in trouble uh, right now. I'm an English teacher in a school that is not well known. Uh, the thing is that I have students from every part of the world and we have not been able to meet, you know. Um, there is also a bit of discrimination and I think some of them get on badly, so I don't know what to do. Can you please help me? For sure, my dear teacher, don't worry. This can happen a lot, and actually not only in your classes, but also in every, every single classroom. So don't worry. Let me ask you something before we continue. I don't know, maybe if do you get along with group work? No, not too much. Okay, I got it, I got it. I know sometimes group work can be difficult due to the low participation of some students. However, at this moment, ma'am, the best strategy in order to reduce that situation in your class, I think that is the use of cooperative learning. Yes, ma'am. I mean, in this case, as your principal tool, you can start leaving activities for the class in which three or four people need to work together in order to get a solution and also to solve a problem. You know what I mean, ma'am? Well, I didn't think about that strategy. It sounds good. I will try it. So thank you so much for your help. No worries, sure, ma'am. So, well, in this case, remember that more cooperative working, less stereotypes. So I hope this can help you and please enjoy your next class. I will. Thank you so much. The service is the best. And also, Brian, my husband is also a teacher and he also needs some help. Can I bring him over to the line? Yes, for sure. In this case, if you want to, let me transfer right now to the specialized department for teachers and he will, he well, they are going to help you, okay? Of course. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thank you so much for calling the Teaching Support Line. May I have your name? Um, yes, I'm Brian Aguilera. All right. How can I assist you today, Brian? Um, sure. I will. I'm having a problem in my classroom. First of all, I'm teaching English online, so I'm new at this. Now, part of the learners doesn't have an understandable Spanish level, which makes the English lessons difficult. I see. Can you tell me what is the average age of your, age of your class? For sure. Well, they are between like 18 and 24 years old. I see. Well, that is really important. And also, I understand that it can be overwhelming for you since it is your first uh, class you have to do online. But this is a great opportunity to learn and make use of the tools technology offers. Please tell me more about this English level problem. Yes, for sure. So look. I noticed that they are from different parts of the world. So their mother language can vary a lot. So how can I teach a second language if we can barely understand each other, you know? And also how can I do it without stopping the process for learners whose first language is also Spanish? Okay, well, my first recommendation, Brian, is to play some keywords or sentences to be understandable for everyone, almost like a classroom, like, may I go to the bathroom, please? Something like that. Then, also, you can look to see what kind of learning it is the prevalent one on your class. Maybe is it visual or is it hearing? Also, remember, not all learners have to develop their learning at the same time or the same way. Of course, you're right. I think it's visual, so. Exactly, so look, if the prevalent learning is visual, as you told me, you can try using pictures to demonstrate examples of vocabulary or topics. Uh, so you will have a diverse pool of personal perspectives and opinions. You know, diversity is really, really important in your class. That will enrich the culture of your lessons. Besides, uh, their mother's languages can be used as a tool and object of, instru of instruction, sorry. So all of you can learn two languages at the same time. Yes, well, 
Well, that sounds good. That sounds good. Sorry, uh, I hadn't seen that way. So I will try. I will let you know how it goes. Uh, so I will try. Okay. Thank you for your help. I appreciate it a lot. My pleasure, Brian. Thank you so much for coming. Take care. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.